when we receive the sample, we verify the details and inactivate and transfer the sample for extraction and retesting. After retesting at National Public Health Lab, selected samples are repackaged and shipped to international laboratory for further investigations to identify the COVID-19 variants. The sequencing of COVID-19 is very, very important because we shall know from which strains that are available with this influx of people from all over the world. Genomic sequencing is really very important because it generates, so it provides very valuable uh, information which is used to characterize the virus. Um, and also the information is, is used to estimate the particular variant uh, prevalence in a certain population. That information also uh, are used to evaluate on how effective the medical treatment is. Really investigate the spread of the virus in, in an outbreak. It is also important that we, we continue uh, monitoring, okay, how that virus actually evolves. And it really helps us to make a selection of the best diagnostic mechanism that, that we should use in terms of testing, but also type of vaccines and also some of the uh, therapies that are used uh, uh, in the treatment of, of such virus. The inavailability of sequencing machine in our country. And this is the greatest challenge. We still continue uh, to request WHO to support us and join us in at least campaigning to have actually the sequencing lab established in Juba and also a biobank established in Juba with all its uh, uh, branches up to the state's level. Let me take this opportunity to really thank the USID for their continued support for the COVID-19 response, particularly for the laboratory and in the area of genomic sequencing uh, in the South Sudan. And to continue the preparedness, detection and the response of outbreaks and other health emergencies.